Hey there everyone, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings Redux. This one's a little bit late today, but it's as fresh as fresh can get. We're gonna do Where Lemmings Dare, Where Lemmings Dare to go back and do a Talzman. This one gave me no end of trouble when I did it uh, the first time, but now that I'm a little bit used to it, I think I might have a strategy for going after this one. I only have one of each digging tool. And where is that, where is that, uh, where does that trap, where's the farthest up I can build and it be and not be a problem actually let's see yeah let's go about here I want to see how far I can get I want to let one lemming go past him now how far can I get without there we go okay now if I bash on to that will that create will that make them walk onto the will that make them walk onto the Okay, no, they won't walk onto the thing, so I can save my, or maybe I, okay, if I mine there, I think that will make things more complicated than it should be, but everybody is safe for now, so I think I can go ahead and afford to raise the release right there. So, now all we have to do is just dig into the right spot, really, more or less. Um, uh, I have, or, well, I could try mining. Um... Let's see how mining does in this example. It looks like that takes out a little more a little more land. I don't think they would be safe if I did that. No, they sure wouldn't. So yeah, we're going to have to stick with bashing there and hopefully make the rest of it work. So let's go ahead and see if we can make the rest of it work by ear here. I think that's pretty much it. It's just making a blocker trap at the beginning that is reasonable and once again let's use the physics i've really gotten used to using this little physics bit here um where is the best place to go for that um okay i can't get very far away from him can i how did i do this the first time nope there's no there's no successful place to build why not i guess i have to do do i have to do it to where like I build and then keep trying to build over it with a succession of builders? Maybe so. So let's try that. Let's go... Okay, yeah, that gets pretty close to being over it. Okay, you build two steps and then you go back. Alright, let's let you walk. I don't have a time limit here, so I don't feel too terribly constrained. This isn't a very straightened circumstance here. Okay, um, how far can we get away with you walking? That's death. So, let's go one more. Uno mas. I think what I'm going to try to do, this is going to be really dicey work. I might try to dig here, though, because I want to try to mine to the exit if I can. Although, yeah, I would have to dig right over the exit because there are traps on either side of it. This is just okay. There's a there's a death vine down there. Okay, if I finish this bridge off early, yeah, I'm gonna try to go in through the. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, that's a good, that's a good little bit right there. Okay, so if I dig from about here. Will they make it onto... That looks about parallel with the thing. Oh no, that cuts way short. Oh man, we got a problem here. And that problem is... Um... Well, maybe we don't have that much of a problem. Maybe we're going to use all our builders though. I've only got three left, so... This would be really... Hmm. I'm going to keep going for now. I'm going to keep going and then kind of... Okay. Alright. Now if I drop onto there, that's two left. Then... Okay, if I run into this and then turn around... Okay, I think if I use all of my remaining builders... I might even be able to do this so that the remaining builders... Let's see, they go, he goes down. What I'm trying to accomplish here is he runs into this, stops building, and then I build up to here, 
but then he just kind of, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Will he stop if he, yeah, that looks like one hit where he'll turn around. Okay. But when I, he turns around, I need him to then not stop. Okay. Okay. Looks like he'll also stop going if I go there, though. Alright, um... Let's see how it goes. Yeah, he turned around. That's unfortunate. That's kind of not what I want him to do, because I'm out of builders at that point. Maybe... No, but if I go too soon up the thing... Um, maybe I do need to go one too soon. Okay, maybe I do need to go off... Maybe stretch this one out a little more. Because I need to get him onto that. I'd really appreciate it if he'd get onto this little nubbin right here. Right off the bat. So that when they all drop, they just go left into whatever thing he creates. And I'd like to do it without prematurely ending anything. Ugh! Okay. Okay, maybe it's a maybe it's a matter of I did this all wrong. Did I get these stretched out enough? Where is the last point I can go to right here? That's pretty close. That's pretty close as well. Now do I hit my head there or do I die? Which one? Okay, I just I just hit my head. Okay. So if I can get it a little bit more stretched out, I think this one is going to require the precision as well. Alright. No. I don't want you to walk off per se. I just want you to... Oh. Well, now he... Now he builds really far. Dang it. Yeah, now... Okay, so... And then three... But then... Two... One, oh, no. Now I have enough... Why do I now have enough builders to do this all? Is it because I didn't waste one here? Okay. I kind of get it. Yeah, now I have the luxury to... Now I have the luxury to build. And then he'll keep going. Then he'll hit his head. And then I can make a perfect one. Okay. So now I can kind of mind dig into the exit. That's good. Oops. Oops. I'm thinking about how good things are going to be. How good times are going to get. There's good times around the bend. Roller coaster's got to roll to the bottom if you want to climb to the top again. Right? Right? That's how it... I think that's how it's supposed to go. I think that's how good times and bad times work. They work on a... They work on a cycle. They tend to anyhow. Alright, so now I have to both dig him out and also make sure nobody else dies. Alright, I think that's a good hit. So, I think this one is worked out. Okay, everybody else should be fine. We just need to get somebody really close. I think that was the closeness right there. Now we save everybody. Everybody walks and they... Nope! I screwed it up. <laughs> because, of course, I did. Um... Yeah, I got the direction wrong, that's all. Because, see, I wanted this to end in a way where I could... Yeah, they all walked the wrong way. No, we don't want to watch you die. All right, except for one little thing. And I have to save everybody, so this has to be worked out just a slight touch better. Okay, I'm going to try something else. I don't think I have to dig anywhere at all if this works. This is a pretty crazy one. Um... But if I'm looking at this and it's panning out right, then I might not have to do anything with this at all. It might be possible with the amount of room I have to actually build over these. I have three builders left. First of all, let's do a test. Let's see if he dies immediately when he walks in this little vine. No, the water is actually... He could walk over all of that if he wanted, I think. Except for maybe one part. No, there's one part he can't walk over, so we do need to build beyond it so let's build to turn around okay so there we go we're safe from that one huh i thought the physics would be much kinder there for some maybe not there's like 
there's like two little or three little holes right there where he dips right into it. So I guess that counts. Okay, so now if this is, if I can do this, can I get close enough to build over, let's see, it's letting me, okay, I could get probably over both of these. You have a pretty generous amount of room when it comes to building over the vine trap, it looks like. So if I can get over two of these at once, two more, I might be able to get to the exit just by building over the vine traps, which I had never considered until I realized I would have to do some kind of turnaround with bridges going this way. I would either have to mine or dig through one of these bridges. And if you dig through this, this guy gets out fine, but then the rest of them go cursed black because you don't have enough floaters. So I decided... Can I go down, can I dip a toe in the swamp, in the vine swamp? And turns out probably we don't need any miners or diggers at all. Oh, they can follow that path, right? Yeah, they'll just follow the exact same path he did. There we go. Okay, so you just got to take a bit of an alternate. I didn't even know there was a vine over here. How do vines grow out of crystalline formations? That's not, that's not possible. But there they go. I think that one, uh... I had a lot more patience this time than I did the last time I played this level, so I was a little more willing to look at it and kind of divine it from from what I was uh, looking at there. <laughs> uh, that is a that is a dangerous little route there, but I am totally okay with taking it if it gets me another talisman. There we go, talisman unlocked. Uh, that level was not nearly as scary to me that time. I do dare go there in future i feel now i feel a pretty doggone expert not gonna lie <laughs> getting a little uh high on my own supply there better but maybe better calm down a little bit all right now we're returning to the upside down for season three we have to save all 50 lemmings upside down world used to be a lot more daunting i think you'll mostly solve it the same way more or less but you'll probably just do some different stuff this time that's a bit of a that's a bit of a pill to dig out of. Um, let's see if we can't just. All right, we're gonna. I don't think we need diggers really in this level. It's really just miners and bashers, so we can use all the diggers at the beginning here. I'm going to go ahead and I only have two builders, and I think I needed one over here. Do they, yeah, they still go out to the right. That's probably for making this um, a little bit harder purposes. They all went out to the left. It would be probably too easy. But we do have a lot of miners, however. Um, let's go ahead and start by... I think if I start mining right at the beginning, that's too fast. Somebody will go... Yeah, somebody will turn around there. Um, let's make him block. Okay, well that just turned him around. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. What? See if we can get a blocker on this. No, that's still two. And we still have, and we only have one blocker, so that doesn't work. So we're going to have to turn them around somehow. And it's going to be a little bit dicey, methinks. Let's go ahead and uh, dig, I guess. Alright, and he's going to go... Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. This is going to be the hard part right here. The easy part is getting the rest of it done. But the hard part is going to be figuring out the turnaround right at the front. And I have a feeling a blocker shenanigan might be involved. But the fact that they're going to the right just makes it that much more difficult. How much more... Okay. So only one lemming gets out. We do have leeway for that. Um... Okay, so we don't want we don't want somebody leaving right off the bat probably. Let's go ahead and make him a blocker. Like 
in this little hole right here. No, that's immediately too fast. He'll just get right back out. So can we clear out the blocker at the end somehow? I bet what we can do... No, you can't just dig and release the blocker because the blocker will be facing right. So... <sighs> Okay, I think once I get this figured out, the rest will fall into place, but... Because this is pretty simple. Normally, you just, you know, you block. Once I get this situated, this is the hard part for me right here, I think. Because the rest of the level... Let's see what I have to work with, first of all. Let's go through the level like normal. And see what I have remaining to work with. Okay. So I have a miner right here. I have a lot I could probably use, actually. Everybody's going to escape up into there, then use a climber. One basher. Let's say... Okay, let's say climber. This is me just going real quick and seeing what I have left over. I think I might have an easier time with this if I know what I have left to work with. Maybe I can somehow save both of my... Okay, if you go in, it's going to be really hard to mine underneath, I think, the trap. Let's see how, well, no, there's a really good crunchy spot right here I could go into. And then I could just bash through to the end. Okay, oh, there was a spot, there was a spot there where he just goes out to there. So I don't have to build over the trap. So I'm thinking maybe if I can maximize builders somehow, that might help. Okay. I think I might have it. So if I bash through here and let him do that. Alright, he's going to turn around and... Okay, I have two diggers that I can work with. And I think, okay, so I can do like a double thing at the beginning, maybe. So if I don't have to use any builders at all to get through here, because I think he turns around on one of these, doesn't he? If I recall right. No, he doesn't turn around at all. I thought the whole idea was, let's see. Hmm, I thought the whole idea was that he would, uh. He would turn around on one of these. Because that seemed to... I thought I had to build like... Maybe that was the way it was in the old game. And now I'm getting confused. Back up, back up, back up. All of this is just super walkable, right? Okay, so... Yeah, he just walks right up over all of it. I think the thing I had the trouble was maybe... I build to turn around and he doesn't walk back over it. Is that what I'm thinking? So he goes over this thing, and I think he gets blocked on this one. Yeah! Okay, so he got blocked on the underside of that one. Uh, so I do have only one builder. I thought I'd have a little more... I thought I'd have a little more to work with, maybe. Although I still might. Because what I could do... Okay, I think I see it. So, okay. So now that I have everything worked out at the end... All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to come way out here to dig. I'm just going to let one guy go. And now what I need to do here is I need to okay. Can a climber go over this? I think he can. I think I can solve the rest of the level from here once I have this done. Because I'm going to let him get way low to the ground. That might be... I might have let him go too far, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we want to do this a little closer to the beginning. Because we want to give ourselves space where he definitely won't dig himself too far out. And then we want... We want a blocker, like, right close to the beginning. So that everyone still turns around. 
But at the end, we'll be able to mine him out. Because I'm going to build him to stop him. Alright. Yeah, he's definitely down deep enough in the hole. And what I should be able to do then from this point... I'm going to let them mill around a little bit. And then what I should be able to do... Is mine down in such a way that it frees the blocker. But they still have space to walk. Let me see if this works first. Yeah, that works. Okay, so, okay, so. So, yeah, they're all free, so I might as well let somebody... Okay, we can we can finish the level at this point, then. Let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so everybody is fine. Okay, that's what I like to see. Now it's just a matter of uh, mining in the right spot. That's going to be a bit of a hassle with... Nope, it's fine. <laughs> Not a hassle at all. Okay, so now we're just going to beat this level the normal way. We're going to send the climber over, and we're going to mine underneath. We're going to do that mining bit that we did earlier. Mining in that spot. That turned out... Couldn't have turned out more perfect doing that right there that way. So, let's see. So, you go from here, and we just want the spot where... We want the spot where... He goes almost all the way through, but not quite. Back up. There we go. That's the one. That is a beauty. That is beautiful. Okay. So now go all the way across as you were, little man. Over the thing. Let's go ahead and just turn him around right here so we don't have to worry about bashing through the thing. I think that... I think that's probably fine, right? And then he walks right over that. Okay, and that's a perfect. And then they all rest, walk over that. So, I think, barring any problems, I think we've done it. I think we can bash our way through to the end there. Two silver talismans done pretty dang well in lovely organic fashion that's what i like to see let's make sure our climber is okay where did he go uh did, did he bump his head on something else and he's following the rest of them in now i don't see a i don't see a green man here with the rest of the crowd i'm a little worried where is my where's my green climber man or did he just somehow get to it first i don't see the climber but i'm gonna trust the statistics he must have he must have hit his head way earlier, and I just... Because I have all the lemmings out. My lemming count is higher than my needs to get in count, and so I'm fine. The climber got in somehow. I don't know where. Somehow, someway, he was with the crowd somewhere. He got in, though. That's what matters. We unlocked the talisman. Boom. Done. Two talismans. We're on a pace now. Uh, that technical difficulty thing the other day actually worked out really well. Because having done three talismans that day, that left ten talismans for the rest of the game. And so, two a day from here on out. Oh yeah, you bring the sauce and I'll bring the juice.